Hello, this is Andy Reistetter on a journey to Olympic golf here in Colombia with Alberto Valenzuela and uh, Cartagena, Bogota, and now in Medellin. Oh, you're, in, yeah. you're just you're just Mr. Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm all, everywhere. And you are. <laughs> yeah, I know. So tell me a little bit about this place, what well, you do here. This golf course, uh, we're redesigning, renovating this golf course. This is uh, Camilo Villegas' home course. Um, he learned since he was a little kid over here, so it's an honor for me to renovate this golf course. Um, uh, pretty much the president, Sergio Saldarriaga, Sergio, and uh, the director, uh, Fernando Villegas, that by the way is Camilo's <laughs> father, uh, asked me to help them out. And, uh, has been a four year trip uh, that we've been having fun doing and remodeling this golf course. It's amazing how these people can help us in, in working and, and doing an exceptional golf course. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. you want to go show me some of the course and of, introduce me to a few people? Yes, I'll introduce you to some, some of the guys. Serbia, yes, is it? Is Here in the middle of the new 13th fairway, you have two holes totally being reconstructed. Tell me a little bit about the par 3 12. Par 3 12 it was, a, it was a beautiful hole, I was, so the challenge was even worse because we needed to put it even better. Um, we're now kind of uh, in rough shape yet and uh, we hope it's going to be a great hole and it'll still be a beauty, our queen hole. And, and I love your design strategy that every hole is unique to the extent that it's memorable. Yeah. And you mentioned this, the 13th hole, par four. You, your thoughts came when Camilo was playing in the British Open. Yes. And obviously you have the Scottish bunkers, a, a hidden green. Tell me a little bit though about the genesis of this yes, hole. Yes, you're right. Uh, uh, we started designing this hole when Camilo was playing at the, at the, at the British Open. So. In, in, in one of the things and the opportunity that we had to do a hole like this was in this hole nowhere else. So we just tried to, to keep it like that. And tell me a little bit about your partner here holding the camera. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Fernando Villegas is uh, Camilo's father and uh, he has been a great uh, helper. Uh, he enjoys uh, what we're doing and he loves the game also as, as a, as a as his sons, so a member of Medellin, the chief of the Greens Committee, he's, he's the he's boss. Keeping, yes, yes, he's and, the boss. And tell me about your shaper, Fernay. Fernay, Fernay, my shaper. He has been my pencil for 16 years already, and uh, he's a great guy. And uh, uh, we have a very good chemistry when we're building golf courses. And uh, I hope we stay for longer, a lot of time more. Well, thank you for the interview, uh, for Nate. Uh, let me get up on the bulldozer for a pitcher, but he didn't give me the key, so <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. So, Alberto, off the top of your head, when you're designing uh, a golf course, what, what comes into your mind? Uh, playability, maintenance, and look is basically what I like to be. Uh, I'm very concerned about uh, the my 80% of golfers that are that they are over 22 handicap so we try and uh, also we try to be very aggressive on the blue tee uh, but it's very important for us our 85 percent 80 percent of the players and when you're doing a, a project walkthrough like this you're you're thinking drainage you're thinking i'm thinking drainage on maintenance way to cut it the way you the mower is going to work and uh, try to be use them uh, the more percentage of machinery you can use is going to be easier for the maintenance crew to to keep their golf course in good shape yeah 
first cutting of the uh, green here after growing five weeks. What yeah. do you look for here? I'm looking for density actually, and I want to be uh, not only the firmness of the of the of the dirt, but also uh, the density. So we're going to start lowering the cut every three days, maybe for the next two or three weeks. And when do you introduce rolling? Has it been rolled at all? Or uh, rolling? We're going to start rolling uh, this green for every maybe twice a week. So good, good first report card. Yes.